you know, I, I won't, I don't like to talk and apologies. I don't like to talk about the Big Ten too much. I don't like to tout about the Big Ten because my bro- blood runs deep in SEC, but I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you guys your credit, especially specifically Ohio State. I have never seen a college that has had so much leverage and so much success, not only at a consistent level in general, in terms of the people that they bring in, it's a brand at the end of the day. I mean, it's the it's the Alabama of the North or if you have a different outlook, it's vice versa. Right. But, But I've never seen a receiving core lose value it, like it, it's never lost value it's always been consistent it's it's, it's crazy because it's gotten so much better dude like it's, it's like this right now like the dudes that get in that damn room now man i don't even know if i've been playing my last two years that's how good the dudes are becoming bro it's like holy where are you finding these dudes from and honestly if you want to be developed by the best you're gonna go to the best. Ryan Hardline is the best receiver coach in college. You can't tell me any different. His numbers are speaking for themselves right now. Like nobody's doing what he's doing. And he's and he's moving just a coach. He's a he's a somebody you can relate to. You can go sit down and talk with. He got your back. You know he got your back. Man, you got you got Paris, you got Terry, you got Chris, you got Garrett, you got Jackson. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy, dude. Like and, and- next year you have Marv top five pick probably well yeah. jackson smith and jigba last year i mean first rounder like you feel me then it, it, they got a bunch of dudes behind them that's gonna be right after them so it's like it's, it's crazy bro